record uh yes you remember i said what do we see okay um you remember i said uh what do we see this is just a four we're expecting a five right mm -hmm. uh in this case on the week what has price done this is a week gun uh from here yes. from here to here it could be our one could be our two could be our three here we could have our four and then we could be having our five down here uh i'll give you another book uh in elliot wave uh, it also shows there's something called uh, a chunked five like a truncation of five whereby five does not surpass the top point of wave three and then in this case it also could be a chunked five because of uh what is currently happening i mean uh, when okay. we looked at it uh, from the month, we noticed that wave two had retraced uh, very, very deep. So we expect wave four to be kind of shallow. And that this black line that we drew here is the 50% zone. So this is likely to be uh, the supply of this current place. Price to be bouncing off here. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the 50% okay. zone. If we just add Elliott wave our principles before we can add uh, the QMLs and all these things. If it's just Elliott, simple Elliott wave principles. And then we'll try to measure these uh, one, two, three, four, fives here. I'll take this here and all the way to there. It will give me this as the 261 point. It's still a three. And then I'll take this and I'll put it uh, at the bot at the top point. This would have been my first full margin entry where price went in. This is a week, uh, in a week from uh, here to here. That's a whole 2% in price movement again. That's a lot of money. Uh, if you know these percentage prices, let me show you these movements on the side here. Uh, when you do anything, if you want to analyze any chart and everything, uh, before you just hop into it, uh, first just look at all these things. Okay, you see, use these are oh, it has been moving up, so we expect a correction very soon. You look at all these percentages, 0.60% is enough to make you a uh, 100 US dollars worth uh, for 0 0.02s. 4.02s, mm -hmm. that's 100 US dollars, like on a daily. Uh, there's some group I used to be in, Market Killer, I used to post these things, but uh, I left because I felt like people were too lazy now to do their own analysis. So that's a problem. Yeah, I don't want that because if tomorrow this coronavirus that has happened, if it now attacks me, now people will struggle because they didn't learn this. You see, so Ish, I want people to actually learn and actually do it. And also remember, this four all the way to this five, there's a one, two, three, four, five. Let's try and measure if there's a one, two, three, four, five inside here. If that's my one. We still haven't even got to the three if that's my one. But mm -hmm. uh there's also these principles in an ending diagonal triangle. It would look something like that, an ending diagonal triangle, whereby it will take just these points, so one and then two. It takes like the nearest points of correction points, four, and this could be our five. And then in this case, it would give us uh, a simple zero here, A, and then this is our B, and that was our C. So we could be expecting price to be breaking all the way down here, or we can expect mm -hmm. price to do. So uh, every time when price is around these levels, we start to monitor the price. We monitor what is currently happening. Now we go to, uh, let's go to the daily so that we can see uh, the detailing of what is currently happening. Mm -hmm. Then we zoom it this way. And then, uh, okay, let's try to change the color of the, okay, let's remove the other one, two, three, four, fives in here first. And focus on this one right uh in this case here was our first reaction point let's just do this and mark it okay uh, this is our two one two top points um, here to here to here three three is always between here and here right you remember i said that one two mm -hmm. yes in this zone here there was not enough reaction to give us this because it's just too small. And then we'd take maybe here as our three because it looks like there was a proper reaction here. You could even take this point as our three because here in Elliott wave principle, we always want it at exactly the pinpoint. We do not want bo hampuri hukada nana. Yeah. Yes. 
people are, what I mean, like, uh, how do you plot these people from what point to what point? I want to see. Oh, yes. How do uh, you plot? From here, the bottom point, right? All the way to the top oh. point, this Fibonacci extension. Remember I said in this Fibonacci extension, we always want to use the seven. Okay, let's move it to the side so that you can see. We always want to use these two points, the 78% and the 1% when we are measuring the next point of wave three. So in this case, we take that all the way to the top here. It's at the 78%, right? It will give us this as our three, but the correction, yeah, as a correction, we can be happy about, because when we look at- Oh, that correction must, must end at 161.8 yeah. yes, one, or at the 261.8. Yes, these two zones. This is where you find oh. your wave three. Oh. Your wave three would be here. Uh, oh, that means it, it needs to have a reaction going upwards just a little bit so that you can get yes. something. Yes, but in this point, we see what our reaction in a, is not a deep reaction. I want, if we're to measure, mm -hmm. let's, let's delete this first. If we're to measure, uh, hey, these guys are going to kill me because I'm now showing you alone. But yeah, if we're to measure from here to here, was the first. One six, I think, uh, the first reaction point of 2.36 to 23%. That's also enough pips. That's a lot of pips. Even you can check from the daily. From here a lot. to here. That's 1%. Price movement, I always say, the first take profit so that we can basically understand if it was done. You see in this reaction, it just reacted a small yarn. So it means that it yeah. wasn't done reacting. So we wait for it. Uh, we take it now and say, in this case, maybe if you didn't enter, it's still fine. We okay. wait to see if uh, it was going to come down here, create maybe a smaller yana B. But if it breaks past this point, we know what, okay, this was uh, an invalid three. We wait for this one. You see this one here, it, it, it seems like a correction, a, a super correction, like a proper correction. correction. Yes, in movement, mm -hmm. these corrections were like 4%. These are proper corrections, or 4%, or 3%, or 2%. Mm -hmm. Ma, hold on. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, so in this case, uh, three and this, there was a proper correction. We take this as our three, right? And then if this is my three, yes. we try to predict the next ending point of wave five. Remember, wave five is just basically the top point of here, all the way to the top point of three, all the way to the uh, bottom point of wave two. This is how you find the full margin entry. And we always want it at maybe the 100% or this percent. So in this case, let's just put it the 100% and try to look for it. Ah, sweet entry dog. This is uh, a full margin buy, my guy. Look at it. 161.8 pinpoint. This is, this is actually a sweet buy. I should actually leave my trade. Yes, okay, let's try put it pinpoint <laughs> at one. <laughs> simple dog, it's very simple and easy. Yes, I don't, <laughs> you, you see, yes. look at the press reaction from this zone to here. It's it precision. Four percent. Ah, you're going to buy a car if you enter with zero one. And no need for stop losses around these zones. No stop loss needed. You just go all in out. <laughs> So what has happened here now? Let me show you what price is done at this point. What price has done here is just a simple. In this case, if this is our five, what it has done is just a one, a zero here. This is just a one. It's coming to a two. If indeed it's not coming down to that five. If it did a trunk five, I'll send you the book so that you can also read them. One, this would probably be yeah, our please. two. And then a three, four, five. These are just a random here. Wait first. You see? Let's look at it from this context daily. What is here? Upside down QML, right? Mm. Pa, you know, ah, you start saying, okay, if it's in a daily aspect, if I was to take it now to maybe a four hour, because we are looking, okay, let's delete a lot of lines here. Uh, just to make it a bit clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, we have, this is the 50%. Mm, let's just reduce this so that we can see this now. Let's go to we focusing here, just here. Now let's go to the four hours so that we can see this proper detailing. 
this is what it looks like. Now, we're looking at where price is. What do we see? Let's just increase it. At this point, what's here? Simple upside down QM. Ta, ta. Yes. Entry point. This is our one. Okay, let's delete uh, this big yellow box now. Yes, we would have yes. something like this, right? Uh, let's delete mm -hmm. one. Of, okay, let's just delete this little black line because the 50% line is already passing through this bottom here. And look at it. This big 50% yes. line that we first drew. It's it's just it just drew the QML for us. So now we try and yeah. look at this point here. Let's look. Okay, from here to there. I guess this is our five. We have to have a one, two, three, four, five now because it's a new trend. We take a zero yes. here, zero, maybe a one here, maybe a two, maybe a three here, maybe a four, maybe a five. But uh, we're still checking, right? We zoom. Ah, okay, zoom. Okay, let's just take that as our one, two. Mm. We take this bottom point, top point there, small two. In this case, what is this? This is our three in case. It's not even a one. Uh, we okay. look at this again. We say four. This is our four here. Remember, shallow correction, deep four. Shallow correction, deep four. Simple. Uh, and then if we wanted pinpoint, we can try to take this here at the 71%. So this would be our three here. A, that's just a deep, uh, in this case, it would look like this, zero, A. Remember that C, that big B, that uh, it will bias some people to think, ah, it's going up. It takes people's money. Mm -hmm. That's what basically happened. Uh, we try now to draw QML levels. We look, uh, is there a QML level here? We look uh, on the side, uh, we try to do something like this first. We we'll look at it in uh, smaller charts. There's something here. If we go to the one hour, it's very funny, dog. It's very funny. And I discovered this myself. Just... Imagine when you discover this yourself one time, hello, chit, eh? and you're like, holy shit. Look at all this. This. Holy... Yes, it's too much. It's too much, my guy. This is my theory, in fact, A, B, C. Then inside here, again, we want to pinpoint full margin entry, right? Yeah, now, yes. let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up in there. Oh, sorry for that. Zero, start saying zero here, one here, two. This is probably our three, four. This is our five, or five up there. We're just, we're just checking, right? Bottom point, top mm -hmm. point, here, here. Where is it? Three. There's a smaller yana reaction here, right? If we take this yes. point all the way to this top point here, it will give us this point as a proper reaction, right? And then mm -hmm. uh, we can take it all. Okay, no, here's the proper place. Mm, bottom point here, the bottom point here. It will give us pinpoint. This was the first reaction point of three. We said this is a fact, this is an ABC. Remember, there's a big B that's just fucking up with people. Your first take profit is always from this point all the way to this bottom. That's 1% price. That's a lot of money. And we wait for the price to tell us what it's doing. In this case, remember, there's something there. We let it go to that big B there. Come down crashing. It's now crashing. We're expecting price now to be going up because we are looking even, you remember that line drew us that perfect, nice, uh, 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 yes, no, no, it was the 50%. This one, this big here, the 61. Yeah, this one yeah. is 50. 61.8 is all the way down here. Yes, but this is the 50%. So we're expecting price to be bouncing off these levels and going back up. And then we tried to measure, uh, okay, how many retracement has it done so far? If this is just a four, we take this bottom point all the way to here, all the way up there. It'll just depend. In this case, it's just with at the 70%, 70 even the 80%. So we just mark the zone. This is the last reaction point of price. We're expecting price now to be going all the way to the top. If it doesn't go to the top, that means we know what this five was not a five, it was not complete. We have that one. So here you have safe entry. A stop loss would probably be somewhere around here. You enter. 
first first price reaction is going to be around this QML zone. We just do the simple. Now you have a QML there, you have an FTR there. Ah, it's very, very easy, my guy. It becomes like this. So in here, we're going to have a simple, a one here, a one, two, maybe a three, maybe three somewhere here or here, four, then a five somewhere there. Maybe a one here, and then a two, maybe a three here, and a four, then a five here. This would be the first one of going to this top five here for this big five. Yes. And then create a two all the way here, and then we'll create a three, and then a four, and then we'll go back to this big five. Then we know huge correction. This is the point. I expect a US dollar to be strong around. Okay, let me see. This is too early, dog, for US dollar to be strong. Ah, probably in the next two, three months. That's when US dollar will be strong. But as for now, it's going to get a beating down. From all pairs. Yeah, it needs to go all the way up there. Let me show you again in my... Yeah, so basically, this is the market structure of uh, this next week that is coming. I'm expecting price to do this. If it doesn't follow this, then I wait for it and see what it's trying to do. Let's go to... Uh, let me look for all pairs with US dollar on the side. That's Euro USD. Let me yeah. see. GBP USD. Yes. It's getting a beating. I remember I drew this. Uh, I'll send you the picture also. I drew this. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's going to get a beating. It's just a 3 4 here. I long drew this before it even did all this. I drew it maybe. I'm going to waste that off. People always get eh? shocked at my chats. I've had this for like the longest time. Uh, I had it. When it was somewhere around mm. here, resistance mm -hmm. one. I know we are, we might come to these points, so I've already marked these points. So I'm just relaxing. I'm just playing around. You just I, put on some analysis. Yeah, I just put analysis, and then I just give people in groups and stuff like that. So here I'm just waiting. Uh, I told my other guy he was just using QML, and then they marked this point as just the buy option. I said, guys, what price is likely to do? It might come here. If US dollar okay. is, in this case, price might come all the way down to the C here, then it will start going up. You can see the zone here. See around here, there's something very special. Before we even get there, we mark these points. These points, I was seeing them in, uh, I have like Mansu Sapari videos, but I don't even know what language he's speaking. So I'm just following. Okay, you must me the link. Yeah, you must me the link there. Oh. My WhatsApp. Yeah, so I just, all I do is just, I look at these guys' videos and then I I don't really understand what they're doing, but I can mark key points that they have. It's like mark. music. Yeah. It's like music. Sometimes you don't <laughs> need to understand what, they, but you just love it. So in this case, I'm yeah. expecting price. If it goes deeper, it will just retest uh, maybe around the zone here. Just mm -hmm. around here. And then from there, I get it to three. We had a, uh, a four year and a half thing, a two here. Three will probably retest around here. Look at this point. This was a, a previous supply and demand. Even if we went back in price and try to check these things, we'll see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll bounce off somewhere around here and then it's going all the way up to that five. This is the points where I've marked these QMLs. I have maybe a QML and FTR here. So in this case, I'm just waiting for it to tell me to buy. In this case, when it buys, I always support. Mm. Yes, I always wait for it to to do this first rally up here. I never really like buying mm -hmm. at the bottom points here unless it's a full margin entry. When it does this, I let it go and then I enter here. When I enter from here, I know that here, if I buy at this two, four cannot surpass two. It'll be invalid. So you have a safe entry. Yes. Yes, you have a safe entry. When it's gone, all you just do is probably break even so that uh, if price uh, decides to come maybe somewhere around the zone, it doesn't take profit. So we just let it come, play around, go all the way up. Let me show you another one. I have an odd JPY. I don't know. That's actually the wrong chart. Other charts are here. Uh, yeah. This I, I gave to, this was a sweet one. This is the next, I don't know. Buy it for your kids. I bought it for my kids, this one, honestly. 
<laughs> you boil it for your kids. Ah, no, this is for, I'm never gonna close this tree. <laughs> this one is for my children, my guy. Uh, you it's see, an investment, my guy. <laughs> ah, it's a big invest. You see this one? Uh, I long uh-huh. entered it. Uh, I think I entered it. Yeah, exactly here at the full margin entry, and then it went. I closed it here, and then I told people, uh, what it's going to do? It just created an A. There's a B. There's a C. Don't worry about these A, B, C. It's just repeated A, B, C to give it. In Elliot wave, they'll call them zigzag corrections, triple corrections, and all these things. So in this case, just a one, two, three, mm-hmm. one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five correction. At the end of this one, it's going to come here, but it will never come here, bro. You see here, never ever come mm-hmm. here for the next. Let me show you on the daily aspect what it looks like. Let's listen to the daily. Daily, it's coming all the way down here. From all the way here to here. That's like 18% in price movement. And keep in mind, this Yo. is just this is just a theory. It's not just coming here, it's coming all the way here. You 32 in price, and if you looked at it, you look at it in this way. What is happening in Japan? Japan is currently smashing this coronavirus. It's like it's not really affecting them that much. Yes, yes, yes you see. Mm-hmm. And the Australian dollar, they are being affected by the Australians, they're being affected by this left right cent. So, all I know is that my cell here, it's now sitting at I think 32 zero twos. People are always shocked when I post some of my profits. They're like, I've never seen a zero two trade if it's not NASDAQ and all these things sitting at maybe $32, $42, one position. And mm-hmm. they're like, they, they're always like, nah, dog, that is that is crazy. And I tell them, ah, dog, it's very easy when you have Elliott Wave and then you mix it with uh, QML. Basically. You lost size of 0.2. Yeah. 0. 0.2. But you know that this yes. one. <laughs> that I'm sitting on like legit. I'm sitting on thirty-two dollars. I just put two of them. All of them are all at thirty-two dollars. <laughs> People are like, "What are you saying, dog?" All of them. I'll actually screenshot you the item. I think from here, look from here to here, three percent already in price movement. Let me look for that. Let me try do a code here. Zero point zero two. So you have never seen that also. <laughs> that means you uh, I, I like your spirit because you are not gambling nah, no 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 it's calculated yeah. risk I call mm. it calculated yeah. risk that's what forex is uh, and what it should be yes uh, I like the, the style of that you are using because that's why people people who risk put a huge lot of mm, uh, if you zero, put a, one lot. you know one time I had done a euro USD uh, and then mm-hmm. I, I noticed uh, this guy was making ref wing. I did the same analysis. I went in zero threes and zero fours. I was sitting on maybe 120 US dollars. I'm excited. This guy posts his mm-hmm. uh, profits in euros. Exact US. So this guy was sitting on about 10,000 US dollars. And I was Ooh. like, if I had money, like proper, real, real, real big money. Man. Because uh, I would be sitting on crazy amounts, though. It's just that I only started. I only started understanding all these things uh, late last year. That's when I started uh, understanding. Imagine, though, uh-huh. late last year. Uh, but I had been studying this for like a very long time, and then I just didn't study it that much. I never gave myself time to really understand it. And then I started giving myself time. I was actually amazed at how easy these things could be. You had that aha moment. Mm, and I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. And I've never... All this really... time. This was... Let me, my, my WhatsApp is kind of be acting up. I'm trying to connect it, but I just hope it can log That's in. Different. I don't know why. I'll show you my charts. Uh, yes. have a, yeah, but I'll definitely app you my charts. Of also this one. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, there's, hey, I have a lot of these things. I posted it when it was still somewhere here. People made money. I entered there. And then when I post the full margin, I never care about what price is currently doing. I just wait for it to go to my full margin entry. If it triggers it, I'll be sweet. If it doesn't, then I know what, okay, I'll need now to draw again. Also, odd care. Oh, yes, let's see. 
see odd usd i'm expecting odd usd to retrace around there's something special here where it might come down here so in this case mm -hmm. we just wait and see okay yeah, there was a full margin buy here that's btc cat jpy okay yeah there's that also mm. uh odd jpy okay i showed you odd cat here's odd cat yeah Odd cat. I long drew it when it was somewhere here. And I did, you see here, there was something I did that looked like uh, I had said price. I'll show, you'll see it on my chat. I had said price is going to do hmm? this. And then it would come down here. And then it would uh, do this movement here. And it did exactly that. This It was somewhere here. It went with this blue up here, came down, then it went up. What it did, can, uh, sorry for that. Let me delete this. What it did, it just took that and then it came down here, but it went deeper. Then it went all the way up there. And I'm also waiting. This is just at a, a five here. It's just a C. I just realized that this was a C uh, just the other day. I, I had this also and then I closed it around somewhere. I just realized, oh my God, this was just, it's coming down here. So what I'm waiting for right now is for price to come somewhere here and then it's going to come down again here. Let me show you what I'm waiting for. Just waiting for retracement. Yeah, for a proper retracement. In this case, okay, sorry for putting that. Mm. In this case, it did a one, two, three, and then a four, five, right? This deep correction here huh? gives us, this deep correction at the top here gives us a two. So this could be a one and then a two here. And then we are coming down to a three. Uh, let's do this. We try to extension to top here point. We're looking for it at the one percent. So yeah, could be doing a three even now. Yeah. Yeah, we try put it pinpoint at exactly the point. Yeah, it could be doing a three. So what I'm expecting is for it for it to pick. We don't care about these QMLs now. We care about this first mm -hmm. one. Here. This is the first one we're looking for. Uh, let me delete this. If we're not looking for this, if it passed this one, then we know that uh, we're looking for this QML here. When you draw, here's something special. So I have these top points as my QML points. Uh, QML and yes. drop base drop. Yeah, so I'm waiting just for it. If it retraces here, then it's a sweet one. We'll be going all the way down. But if it goes deeper to that one, it's still fine. In this case, this is a, a one, right? Uh -huh. uh, yes. We just try to measure the whole point of it. From here to here. How many? The first one here is a 38%. Yeah, that's the first reaction. So it's going to just do this. Zero A and a B, and it's going to create that C. Then it's coming down. Yeah, it's doing that. I need to learn. <laughs> hey, you plotting the fibs, man. The fibs. You say you move from because you're moving quite too fast. Man. Oh, I'm moving to. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, in this case, bottom point here, yeah. we are measuring uh, this whole one. I could be saying this is probably our three. If we are measuring this whole point, uh, we are looking for it to retrace at the first retracement point. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, this is at the 38% already, and this is the 23%. Look at yes. it here. You see here, strong momentum. Mm -hmm. We expect it to break past this zone here. So mm -hmm. if it goes, we're going to take this point as our A, where there's a first QML. Remember, I like, I know these points because where there's a QML, uh, it's likely to, to, to return. You see here? Yes. This is the first retracement point at the 38%. The first, the second decision point. First decision point, second decision point. 38% zones. And it's going to come, yes. And then it's going to come down. Look at here. What is here? Look at this. You just do that. Mark that. So what we're expecting is price to do something like this. Let me add wave to it. Let's make it black. Mm. So 
you expect a breakout retracement to be yes and, and then, then yeah my 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 proper entry would probably be, i'll just wait for the sell i never really care about these buys because they are very risky if you are to buy mm. here and then it just corrects here and then it starts going all the way down there it's a very risky rather wait mm. for these points rather wait for the sell here all the way down here or that mm. down here. if you are to measure here to here that's 1% here to here you know what this is? that's a lot of percent so i'm mm. expecting mm. This. i'm expecting this and then if you are to watch again uh what has been happening to the euro chair yeah no problem mm. <laughs> get more shock to <laughs> there's actually people here watching oh i didn't know i just thought it was <laughs> me and sugar oh that is that is mind blowing <laughs> That is mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, here's first retracement right correction here to here then we know sweet entry. So we're just waiting by a lot. Okay, price is like we test uh, around okay. You look at the uh the who's who's who item is making too much noise. Let me mute someone. I think it's Makala. Oh, is it you? Bruh. Yeah, okay, no, no story. But yeah, anyway, uh we look at the, the Canadian pairs now in this case. What are the what have the Canadian pairs been doing? I guess we're trying to validate that indeed Canadian uh pair has lost strength. Australian dollar is gonna gain a bit of strength and take it up. Now we look at uh Canadian pairs. Odd CAD, right? Let's go to CAD JPY and see what CAD JPY has done. CAD JPY has been uh, has been on a downtrend also, and then it started gaining uh, strength, right? As yes. it's gaining strength, we notice uh, in this area, this is likely to be our one. If this is our one, we look what happened. There's a gap. This is, the, this is the reaction point of this one at the gap point. Right? So we take this as our first one. So we're expecting... Uh, so what are you expecting here? We're going to expect a, a B and a C down here. Yes. Then uh, I'm expecting price to do an A B C, right? Uh huh. Yes. In this case, so if in this case, if CAD pairs are, are losing strength, that means indeed here at the odd CAD, we're expecting the Australian dollars to gain uh, some price movement thing and all the way to the top of that because CAD and I super rare trees. It shows that it, it has failed. Um, I mean, it's going down. Uh, and then we go to the CAD chef also. Let me see this one. It shows that Canadian dollar was strong. It's going. It's been going up. You see this one. I also had it a full margin sell. Sweet one. So in this case, we look at also this one. It's going up. They're starting to correct. So all CAD pairs are correcting. Let's go to the GBP CAD. This end. You see, fuck. Ah, sweet one, dog. I drew this. So yeah, it's correcting. I thought it would retest here, so it looks like it might retest all the way uh, somewhere around here or this zoom. Yes. Uh, yeah, man, I think my WhatsApp should be okay. Let me try fix it. I want to show you these 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 items that I drew. Yes. Um. So that... Uh, people can actually validate that at least this is working, uh, not that it's just a fluke or anything. Yes, there it is. Mm -hmm. 
I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, my guy. It's very simple. Can I know once you start seeing this dog, you'll be shocked. So what we're expecting, we don't even come, you're not coming to these top QMLs. You see, I saw this QML here. People are like, how do you know it's a QML? Because this from there is just a retracement. This is the last retracement point of price. I thought it would retrace here, but when I counted one, two, three, four, five, the five was at the top here. So I marked this zone. Nah. <sighs> Ah, this WhatsApp thing, dog. It's, it's but yeah, up. yeah, it's acting up. But if it does show, uh, no, you could just app me on my WhatsApp, and then I can just show you, uh, what happened. Oh, Elijah, I'm sorry for not sending that one through. Where's Elijah? Did I send Elijah? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry to this guy. But anyway, uh, I'll just show you the pictures when the item comes. I'll send you guys the pictures. But yeah, I along had this. Initially, I thought that it would do something like uh, at this three here. I thought it would correct also come here. But it just went past this three and then just went to this correction down here. And then we can measure this full margin entry. Let's do that. Uh, uh, bottom point here. This was supposed to be uh, our three. Okay, we wanted at the seventy percent or one percent. This is our three, right? Okay. And then you take uh, this all the way to this top uh, point where we have it as our one. Uh, we put it right there. We have this is our full margin into this zone. Here. When you mark the zone, now you look to the left side. Where's the first QML point? Here. You mark this point. The hidden. Yeah. So you know what are uh, the hidden QML. Yeah. People call these things hidden QMLs. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. Honestly. I don't know. Now I'm just drawing. All I know is that QML works, and there's no way I can say QML high so there's no way I'm gonna ignore QML. So every time I draw these, I know it's just a retracement from here to here. Kind of this is just one confluence. It's just one, two, three, four, fives here, right? If it's one, two, three, four, five, we just measure the the whole one, two, three, four, five bottom point to the top point with 71, 61 decision points. The first decision point it came back that gave us our A here. It went to the B. It took a bottom QML around these zones. Then it went all the way to that C. The C retraced all the way at the 78%. Three was at the 61.8. Look at it, sweet, three, 61.8. These are reaction levels of price where you first, your first take profit is always here. First take profit for me initially is always around the zone. Because uh, if you enter a trade from here to here, that's 2% in price movement. That's a lot of money. My my take profit is always around the zone first, uh, but it, it could also yes twenty three percent. When I'm doing uh any any one two three four five, so I always do this and then I wait for the B because the B will be my re-entry again to like let's say if this is a buy, I'd wait for this one to come and then I know what it, when this B is coming, I look always to my left side to check what is happening around this B, the zone here. If we're to go into uh maybe. Bigger time frames would see special uh, scenarios around here. If we were to go all the way down there, would see special scenarios around here. So yeah, that's basically what I'd be doing. Let's go to what GBP USD. Okay, we saw that. I have a Euro GBP. This looks sweet, also. Mm, yeah, I've had this since it was here. I did all these things and people. This is the first decision point. This is the 23%. This is the 38. This is the, I think this is the 50% or 60% somewhere around here. What does it show? A bottom QML. There's a bottom QML all the way here. This looks like an FTR. 
So we know we can buy around okay. the zones because it's likely to bounce off this FTR. I think I have a buy somewhere around here because it broke. This is like a compression also, where price is just playing around a certain zone like this bouncing off it. Uh, it's like a compression. So in this case, let's see what is here. We look at the news. This is my news item. Yes, there's news. I use also investing.com, the application on the phone, but I prefer to use also this because sometimes it shows news that are, are not on, uh, yeah, not on that item. And then I also have a EuroCAD. EuroCAD, I've had it also full margin. I've had it from here. So in D, I'll show you all these things. This guy has seen most of these things, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the GBP cat. This is one of my closest buddies. He's a better uh, Elliott Wave drawer than me. But I'm a better trader than him because he took a long time to land QM. You see, this was the Euro USDs I showed him. He saw it, I think. I showed him when we were. Uh, still at work, I had showed him this item saying it's going to react like this and he was like Nah dog, I actually see something else Ah, Okay, it's taking forever again Still not connected Aish, I don't get why man, okay let me get off the Wi-Fi here and use the phone data yeah okay here looks bottom camera that yeah that was the odd kid odd kid i drew it when it was somewhere here let's look where it is uh odd kid yeah i drew it from here now uh, let's just try compare these things here to here, it was somewhere around here. Yeah, in fact, mm -hmm. here. Yeah, here. Although I knew three, I long drew that three way. Here, at the resistance, uh, you can check, it bounced off the resistance, three APC. All the way down here, we knew our four was going to be around this region. Uh, I did something like that. Oh, here, here's the four region. See, it bounced off literally here around the zone. And then it went all the way up way to that five, the full margin int. Sweet int. Forget. Here it is. You don't you see the first the first reaction it did when it got to this this point, it dropped this thing. And when it dropped this, I knew for a fact that uh because I think I woke up literally 3 a.m. and I saw this happen and I was like, what is happening? There's no news, there's no nothing. That means it's going to go back up here and it's going to come crashing properly. So yeah, I did all that. It went up there, crashed, GBP cared. Yeah, okay, I think now it's connected. Mm. Mm. So before you do the uh, full margin selling, it has to make a manipulation or somehow to, so that it didn't no, no, no. mix. You see here, no, 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 it doesn't even need to make this. All I know is that every time at this 161 point of the full margin entry, there's a retracement, there's a reaction. Let me show you the reaction. Every time here, price will do this reaction. I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five, right? Uh, let me show you. Uh -huh. Every time here, price will, will bounce off and come react at the 23% zone. Everywhere in the chart, I don't, I still don't understand what, what this 161.3% is. We can actually draw it from, let's move this, all over these things. Mm, let's try take a uh, Fibonacci extension here. Bottom point, I could have seen this is our one, this is our two, this is our three. If this is our three, we take yeah. it all the way down here. Let's try put that at, uh, yeah, okay, it's fine around here. Okay, now let's put it at the 1% so that we show you the price, you see? Every time here at 161.8, there's a price reaction. And uh, in my first video, it will show you that these guys do not want us to see this first full margin, the first full margin. So in this case, uh, you could have said, okay, this was going to be our five here, right? But because it just did a shallow correction, uh, you then move your five all the way down here. 
like an extension to, uh, you see, we take it to the 261.8. Exactly pinpointing here. Okay, sorry for moving that. It's simple. From uh, bottom point here, let's move it. Uh, yeah. Give us these zones like this. It will give you the bottom point of wave one all the way to the top point of wave three, all the way to the bottom point of wave two. It will give you a full margin entry. Look at this entry, bro. Here. Bottom. Come on, again. Repeat, repeat. Bottom point Simple. of bottom point of wave one, all the way to the top point of wave mm -hmm. three, all the way to the bottom point of wave two. It's like uh, it does like. I guess there'll be a one here, right? And then there'll be a two here, mm -hmm. right? And then there'll be a three. Okay, let's do this. And then there'll be a three up there, and then uh, and then a four here, right? All we want, we take the Fibonacci retracement this way from here to the top of wave three, all the way to the bottom point of wave two. You understand? I get it. When you are looking for wave three, you take it. Uh, it's like so when you are looking for wave three, it's just here to here, and it gives you that one six one point eight of wave three. Now, when you are looking for five, we just take it. Uh, we just you just drag the top point where was that one all the way to the top point of wave three. It will give you this full margin entries. It's just a fact. Uh, even if langaring, largaring, you can see it also yourself. In this case, I get we are looking for for the wave five, right? If we're okay. to say this is, if we're to take this point as the first reaction point, this is why I say we always take a profit at the twenty-three percent price movement. Let's try and measure this point and say if it was a five. Yeah, but I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do Okay. Look at the price. Here. Two percent. It's one point seven. Yeah. That is a lot of money, bro. That is a lot of money. It's just fact on from here to here. Kiza buy. From here to here. There's a lot of money. If if your item moves in, uh, if it, uh, your item moves three percent in price movement, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you enter, Canada is the full margin entry. From this zone here, if you go in using a big lot size of let's say one, from here to here, dog, using lot size yeah one, you can actually calculate it yourself. Let me try check if that F X C M profit calculator. Yeah, let's look for this so that we can. Yeah, I like using this. Chief, we need a hot forex now. Eh, Nagir is a hot forex later. Yeah, so we are looking for. I think we are trying to validate. Let's mark these zones. At what zone was this price? Eighty-four. Eight triple four seven one, right? Then let's go to this. Odd cat. The buy. Price would be at uh eight five nine three four seven. Zero point eight five nine three seven. What? Hmm. Eight five nine oh five. Okay, let's just do that one. Eight five. A lot size of one. <laughs> Bye. Okay, dog. Open. Sorry for that. I'll send you that also. Open price of odd care. Eight four four. Right. 185. Yeah. It's a buy. If it's a buy, oh, sorry for that. Okay, I don't know what I just did now. Uh, a buy. Open price is there. Close price is somewhere around there. 
0.0. How is this? I don't get how it's doing this, guys. But it's supposed to be a buy where the open price is here and then the closed price is actually high. But in this case, I don't get why it's doing the reverse type of thing. Uh, we are looking for the from here to here. This is the price, right? Uh, someone's item is making too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Bubble and I'm a sip. But anyway, kind of we are trying, kind of we are trying to. I'm trying to, to validate for you that from here to here, price and trade. As soon as I get those, that's why I pull a calculator. Oh yeah, maybe. And, and eh? but mm. it, it never does this, guys. But yeah, you can also use this also to always check your profit or uh, maybe. Okay, open price. Bonarian this time is super profit. If open price is at four four. Yes, now it's fine. Mm, if open price is at 44318, 44318, all the way to uh, 1, 1, 6. Yeah. 0.0. 0.02. No. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's facts, my guy. It's facts. Uh, for Ghana, it's 2% in price. Movie. Please always understand what 2% and all these percentages mean. 60% from here to 60. 60% if you have the 0 2 to 4 hundred dollars from that to that or fifty dollars sharp now all the way from here can if you have zero two there it's a four let's look for it uh let's try and measure it again we sharp here uh 86 one three nine seven one three nine seven at the end 86 one three nine seven that's how yeah. much you get from one position s02 a one now, and imagine that I got lot there one. I don't think I got lot there one. Look at that. The first twenty-three uh, percent. Got lot there one. I'm not. Can I? I'm not bluffing, guys. It's just facts. Or what? And then how can I got lot there a five? I can't know. You know, it's a full margin entry. But now it's a Charlie Decker. You know, we are just getting off that twenty-three percent zone. Now, but this step from here to here, we are out inside. Now, I get along when it reaches this point, we wait for it to tell us what it's doing. Uh, mm -hmm. right? And then it now starts break, uh, breaking past the zone. Whatever we know what, we already took our profit. We are waiting for the B. It now shows us what, ah, it wasn't done correctly. It went all the way to this uh, 261.8, right? 261.8 hard. Measure ahead like that. From here to here. Ganabone, this is what you guys call shadow codes. What, what, all these things. Mm -hmm. level. From da to da. How much money would you have made from here to here? 8% in prime. That is a lot of Zag. 81, right? We're looking at 81. Uh, 81, let me see. 81 here. Okay, let's just minimize that. 8100. Okay, let's just start at 8100 all the way to... 8,800. Oh, wow. Wow. Buy open price. 
lot there are five, right? Let's go to 0.02. Zero degrees in Zaro Nayala, zero degrees in fact, $98 from one trade. That's zero two, Brian. That's zero one. Safe entry, $49. Like safe, safe, you know what? I'm just, I'm not risking, I'm being safe. Kibata on Nashap. Oh, yeah. Odd JPY, right? Let me show you the odd JPY that I'm currently in. Okay. Hmm. These are the odd kids. When I look at the zero two, but odd kid. Zero two, zero three, all these things. Let me look for the guy now. Okay. Last night entries. When I did zero one attack, zero two attack. Mm. 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 No, no, I don't take both two dollar profit with three dollar. I don't enter such trades. I didn't know so at all. It's just wasting time and playing with your emotions. Okay, mm -hmm. let me look for uh, who else did I send my okay? There's this group. Okay, let's look for the market before I left this group. I'm sorry, guys, I left this group that I ain't sorry, but yeah, I left this group. Uh, I'm always post. I used to post a lot of times. Yeah, but the zero two, but the profit is that. No, we're married. No, well, yes. Got the zero two, Malita. I really Malita. We just easing stuff out. I don't know who else I've sent my profit. Ah, uh, you see, this is more like that. Again, that's how everything started. That odd JPY, okay, no, that's a different one. Who did I send that odd JPY now? I think I made it a stat. Okay, let me do this. Uh, just hold on. Okay, let me send it to this guy and show him the odd JPY. Hmm. That's simple, Malita. Once you get it, you can never unsee it. You always get it easy, 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 easy. Recent, recent, recent. Ba, ba, ra, da, 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 da. Okay, that's GBP CAD. Okay. Yeah, let me just tag this guy here. Yeah, I just sent him to him so that you can be able to see them sharper. Look at all these. That is 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 3. Nothing special, Malaitaka. Real accounts, that's my name. The formula of Malaitaka. All these things. Odd CAD, Odd JPY. Uh, <laughs> simple, 0 0.02 LLA tag. It works. Don't nyata these things and think ah, 0 0.2 and not chalete. If you know, if you enter a sweet trade, ah, you can forget. When I'm calling you, I'm calling you, So in this case, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for this. Okay, the item will expire in 10 minutes. I'll upload all these videos that I'm on YouTube uh, tonight or whatever, whatever time. But I'll make sure that they'll be online between today and tomorrow. But yeah, so what I'm expecting is from here to here. So I'm going to expect price to be going all the way down. That's 6% in price movement. Kids when the zero two is eating what happens and all the again and then all the way. Simple. What it has done here, uh, let me just randomly draw. What it has done, price all the way there has created a supply and demand around the zone. So this is the current supply and demand of these of this of where price is currently at. Come down, it's going to bounce off here, come yana here, qua breaks this this zone. Because this zone has been tested once and it's going to test it for the second time and it's going to break past it. Uh, this odd CAD, let me show you the odd CAD also before. Uh, mm, 
also the euro kid oh yeah now let me show you gbp kid first gbp kid first mm. gbp kid yeah this is the one that i had Again, only you should check my 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 trading view item. They always have dates that to validate for okay, indeed, three DNA or this analysis was done before uh, the initial time happened. So this is it. Let's go to GBP CAD here. I'll come and we remove these things. Okay, let's remove that. This. This and that is basically the same thing. Okay, this is in a one hour. Oh yeah, it's still on a one hour. Hide that. This and that. Full margin, everything at that three here. It went and created this funny movement thing. Oh, this one Yanada broke that all the way up here. Sweet and smart. If you I forgot to sell. Sometimes you see the problem with me. I'll do uh, all these types of analysis, everything I'll do, analysis and everything, and then I forget other ones, I forget to enter other ones. There was this one, this one I did it with my friend, yeah, in a troubleshoot. If, where is it? Well, ah, odd JPY, before it reached this, this point. Uh, where is my, where is his chart? Uh, where is this chart? Also, this before it even came here, yeah, I had that. Uh, okay, where is that? Euro and ZD. I drew that. That's currently happening. I'll also show you that USD, Euro USD. Okay, that. Yeah, this is that the USD plan. Yep. Uh, yeah, here it is. I drew it this way. Exactly everything that is happening. ABC is that that FTR. It's just that the difference is just this and that. Here it's zoomed in. Here it's not zoomed in. That's what it looks like. It came down here, went up there. Three. You see three here? Three here. I had thought what it would come. Could it three would be down here, but three was just basically here. So I just created an A at the decision point, came down to a B around here, and it went down all to the C. So I'm expecting, oopsie, sorry for that. I'm expecting price to retest. I mean, to come down around the zone, because if you check, this is just a three, right? Three, you measure the retracement of three. This is exactly at the 78%. If it's at the 78%, what do we look for? There's a hidden QM and we go to smaller time frames, 30 minute chart. Let's do this. What is here? A hidden QML. That's what you guys call hidden QML, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's a hidden QML there. You mark people would sell from here to here, right? Like ah, okay, no, my zone is here. I sell here, stop loss above this thing. Then with me, I start counting my wave count. Uh, I'll do something like this, zero. Maybe I'll take that as my, okay, I'll start with this one as my one, two, right? And then maybe that's my three, maybe that's my four. And I'd say maybe that's my five. We're just checking first. Uh, starting point, uh, this is going to end very soon, I think. Uh, where's that Fibonacci extension top point here to here? Where's my three? It would say this is my three. If that's my three, I took it here where's the first decision point where it reacted it reacted around here but it went even past that so this shows that this is not my uh my one and my two and my three and then i look for this i take it up here i take that as my two i take that as my three i take that as my four we are looking for price reactions we take that top there point where's my three we want this between these two zones right we drag it now down here at the 61.8 or this percent. This is likely to be our three. If that's my three, I drag it all the way to the top to the 1%. If this was my three, I'm expecting price to even go slightly higher or just retest around here. If you just sell here, 
and it does something like this, it will take your stop losses here. Because you're not aware, I care. you don't really, all you know is that QM, you just trade QM, I know nothing. You don't create room for, let's say, price might come out of the zone. So in my case here, I'll just do this. Let's delete this. Uh, I take that as my C, my four. I look at it, I say, ah, okay, if I say price retested here, what is here? This looks like another FTR. Look at it from this point uh, here. I'll take that as my FTR of this, Q, this QML point that is here, because that's the two. All I know is that price cannot break this part. It can't, Juliet can't afford to do that. So I know that uh, my zone is just here, between here. I'll do that and keep in mind of also the zone. So I just wait for price to basically tell me what it's about to do. Uh, in this case, let's look at the price here. What has price done in this case? Okay, let's try to take it from this four. One, two, three, okay. Here it's basically a three, it's going to come somewhere here. It's, it's playing around the zone. What do you guys call this, what, uh, a base? Base. Yes, a sideways movement is a base. Yeah, so it's just creating a base and then a small and a par. You see, look at this. These are the important candlesticks I would see Mansu Sapari drawing in his videos. I wouldn't really be getting what he say, but I just see these things. You draw, you mark also this point from here to here. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't I, I don't really know these things. So I just it's like I subconsciously program my mind just to see these things. I've seen all those guys' videos many, many times just so that I can be able to draw these things. So my three would be okay. Let's put my three here. I think that's a full margin entry of three is at the zone. And then that's a four here. We take it all the way to the one percent. If it's at one percent, this is like okay, no, my three is still there. No, it's fine. Just drop it exactly at that three is here. Yeah, I'm waiting for that price. If it doesn't come to that price, then I don't really care about it because I would know that uh that's a missed trade, a missed, it's uh, too luck for them. Uh, what is it, too luck or too bad for them? Yeah, too bad. For them. Let's just check around also my other chats. I think Sunday we should do more meetings so that we can have uh, better entries and to understand what is currently happening on the market. I don't like trading on Monday because Monday is like, it likes to validate some news that would have come out over the weekends and stuff like that. So you let, sometimes you trade Monday if like, it's uh, an opportunity that you can't miss. But sometimes you just let Monday go so that we can wait for it to react in a certain way. Okay, what is it doing? Yeah, we need to mm. some Yeah, we, we can't tell the market what to do. But what we can do is just wait for yes. market to react at those points. And then we can have nice entries. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, less than one minute, guys. It'll be cutting in a minute. Uh, even my internet connection is unstable. Mm, I think we can continue in the evening if you guys are down for that, so that we can add more people to Let's the room. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock is. Oh.